Good afternoon, sir. Welcome Hello. to the Blend Cantina, where we take the best of everything and we blend it all together. That sounds fantastic. Can I take your order? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. I want to start with a Diet Coke to drink, and uh, I want to try your uh, uh, dip sampler platter, chips and dip, and would love to try your enchilada dinner. And if I could have um, vanilla ice cream with a cup of coffee for dessert, that'd be lovely. Lovely. Okay. All right. Right over. Right. Oh, ah, thank you. Chips. Your chips and dip. Oh, that looks wonderful. Not yet. The enchilada dinner. Wow, that looks that's a big meal there. Man. Not yet. The ice cream. And your coffee. All right. So this looks good. Can I can I start eating now? Is it? Not just yet, sir. Okay. What are we waiting for? One last thing. That's disgusting. Starting on Sunday, August the 2nd, we're going to go to a new worship schedule. We're going to have our traditional service at 8.30, and we're going to have our blended service at 11 o'clock. There have been a lot of questions about the blended service and what does that mean. And I think there's a little bit of fear that blended means taking traditional and contemporary and throwing it into a big blender and making a mess out of all of it. But I want to explain to you what it means when we plan worship. When we say blended worship, we truly mean taking the best of contemporary music and the best of traditional music and putting it together in such a way that it inspires the congregation and honors the God that we worship. We don't really blend our worship. Like a great meal, great worship is planned and it's arranged and then it's offered to God as our sacrifices at church, praising Him and giving thanks for all that's done. Whether the music is contemporary or traditional, isn't nearly as important is that the worship is done faithfully and the music that is presented is done with excellence. I can assure you that under the leadership of Ed Gibson and Maggie Woods, we will have excellent, faithful, inspiring worship. There will be pieces of music that will be new for you if you're used to contemporary, but you'll be inspired by the words and the majesty of those traditional pieces. And if you're coming from a traditional background and the music is new to you that's contemporary, you can still be carried away by the tempo and the melody and the flow of that music. But whether your preference is contemporary or traditional, remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and we're trying to open up our worship in such a way that we can reach more people for the kingdom of God. I am excited about this new change in our Sunday worship, and I look forward to seeing what God can do with it. We'll see you this Sunday. We still have three services, uh, worshiping at 8.30, 9.45, and our live stream at 11 o'clock.